Hello everyone and welcome to a review that I am so excited to finally be able to do. I had to fight. I mean, I didn't have to fight, I just really had to keep up on my emails about notifications and whatnot, but I really had to like work at getting this freaking product because, oh my gosh, it sold out so quick and every time there's like a re... not a re-upload, but a restock, there we go, on the product, it sells out like that again, so like... <sighs> I actually snagged this from Ulta before they even put up the restock email, so I was just like randomly on Ulta's website one night. I don't even remember what I was doing because I really wasn't like looking for makeup or anything, not that I remember, but either way I happened to click on this and then it said it was in stock and I'm like, you sure? And then I added it to my cart and it said it was there and I was like, you sure though? And it totally was and I got my confirmation emails that it shipped and everything and yay! So, so excited. This is the very YouTube famous, I feel like since its release, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I feel like I haven't really seen anyone review this that wasn't sent it for PR, but all of those people that got this for PR when, like, before the actual launch and everything, rave about this concealer and just say that it is the best thing I ever created, blah, 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 blah. So, I need to know if this is the best thing ever created. I'm a bit nervous because I kept trying to like go into my local Ulta and like random Ultas and whatnot to see if this was ever in stock or anything. And they usually had like three of the shades in stock, but they were never my shade. But I did, you know, do a couple swatches and everything to see which color I should be ordering because, you know, I wasn't sure, do I get the fair, do I get the light? I'm usually kind of like in between that when it comes to concealers and whatnot. But when I had swatched, these oh my gosh the oxidation that happened on my hand was insane so I ended up getting the shade fair so hopefully because in the tube it looks way too light for me but like I said the oxidation was crazy so anyways before I get ahead of myself let's hop on over to Tarte's website we can read about this concealer see what all of its claims are and then we can get on into putting this on my face so like I said this is the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer it comes in 10 different shades ranging from fair all the way over to mahogany I feel like Tarte has trouble with their shade range it looks like they've got a decent shade selection for paler skin tones, but like I said, they do oxidize, but Tarte usually is good for people who have medium complexions, but if you're really fair or if you are really deep or even kind of deep, there's usually pretty big skips and just... But this has great reviews from these people, and the product is vegan friendly, which is awesome. You do get 0.34 fluid ounces, and it will set you back $24. The description is super straightforward. It is a vegan friendly creamy concealer for radiant coverage and contouring. Of course, they're trying to sell you another one of their products. And yeah, you just dot it directly over blemishes, dark circles, or other imperfections, then blend it out with a sponge, and yeah. Yeah, basically you use it like a concealer. So yeah, cool, ultra straightforward. This is absolutely a YouTube made me buy it. So let's go ahead, let's sing the song together and then we can get on into the rest of the review. YouTube made me buy it and now I'm gonna try it. All right, so gonna open this up. This, I don't know if this is typical for concealers, but it says on here that it's only got a six month shelf life or use life, whatever you're gonna wanna say. It is a very fat concealer tube. I feel like when you see it on camera and everything, you know, people always say it's really fat and big for a concealer, but you're like, I don't know, at least for me, it doesn't completely register how big of a concealer tube this is. I mean, if you wanna compare it to like a foundation bottle, here's my Revlon Color Stay. I mean, it's over like half or maybe like half a size. I mean, it's, it's just, it's a very big tube. Like I said, this looks like it is going to be way too light for me, but I think once it oxidizes and everything, or at least I really hope that this is gonna oxidize just like the ones did in store. Let's go ahead, let's get you some. I obviously haven't put anything on my face yet. I quite recently just got out of the shower, so that is why. 
but I'm gonna be testing this on blemishes on my forehead and then also I want to see how it does on the under eyes. I feel like a lot of people have been saying that it is like amazing for under the eyes. It doesn't crease at all and blah blah blah. Everything creases on me so like I don't have high hopes for that but you know, I'm curious to see how the coverage is and everything. It's like, too zoomed in. There. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead, open this up. Ew, let's cherish it while it's clean. It will never look like that again. But like, look at how big this freaking applicator is even. Like, as big as that first part of my pinky. Like, that's insane, if you ask me. It looks like it's got some sort of, like, a well where it, like, gathers the product and everything, so that's kind of cool. My main blemishes are red spots on my forehead. Okay. The well is just, like, so big that I feel like for blemishes it's, like, too much. I know it said to, like, use their sponge, but... I'm a finger blender personally when it comes to spot concealing so it does look like a little bit goes a long long way so that's good but like I said kind of inconvenient <laughs> considering how big the applicator is I mean the only reason I can think of why they would make the applicator so freaking big is for if people are using these to contour like it says you know it's the shape tape contouring concealer or whatever but I mean I personally wasn't planning on using it for that so I do have my beauty blender here see how this does under the eyes okay so maybe my typical three dots under my eyes is a bit much for this concealer but hey it definitely covers so dang I mean <laughs> I look much more rested and my forehead looks a lot less blemished, so I mean, I'm okay with it. I'm glad the shade match seems to be good, but like I said, I mean, I am not the fairest of the fair out there, but this is the lightest color that they have, so like I said, Tarte always seems to kind of struggle with each end of the spectrum. Like I said, they're good at the in-between colors, but the fairest and the deepest, eh, need some work. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my foundation of the moment. This is the Revlon Colorstay. As always, if you're new to my channel and whatnot, either I will have a card up in the corner here for you to click on, or else I always have pertinent links to other products that I'm using down below. But I'm just gonna put this on real quick, so I will be speaking with you in just a second here. Although, sh like, before, I just, like, really want to say, like, it looks really good on my skin, right? Like, it doesn't look really fake and heavy. Like, it looks very natural. I just, like, looked at myself close up in the mirror for the first time and, like, I quite like the way that that looks so far. Okay, anyways. Let me put on my foundation real quick. There we go, foundation is on, and shoot, you guys, I think it looks really, really good so far. Like, I really hardly have any creasing so far with the concealer, which for me is incredible, because usually by now it is just crease city. But even like on my forehead, it just looks seamless, right? Wow, I just, I really, really like the way that this looks. I'm shocked, I'm very shocked, but hey, maybe the hype will be worth it for once. I'm excited, I hope so. And yeah, I also forgot to say, of course, I will be wearing my glasses today for the glasses wearers of the world out there. We can see how the concealer does underneath the nose pads and where our glasses tend to touch our face throughout the day, since that is kind of where the concealer is on me right now. But yeah, so far, so great. I 
I am gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup. I don't know that my hair will be dry by then, but we'll see. So in any case, I will see you in just a second here on YouTube land. Ready? Ding! All right. I think this looks phenomenal. Let's get you zoomed in here. I mean, my forehead looks great, and that's not something that I usually say about myself. And I mean, this is the least amount of creasing that I think I have ever had with a concealer. Like, it is very, 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 very minimal. I'm just like ultra impressed so far. I hope that it continues to look this great, but I mean, I guess time will tell, but yeah, I like it. So yeah, that is gonna do it from me for now. Like I've said a million times, I'm so happy with the way this looks so far. I'm very, very curious to see how this ends up lasting throughout my day. I am contemplating filming another video right now, but the light has been like kind of in and out, so I'm like, I don't know that I want to have to put you guys through that, but we'll see. Maybe, I mean, it's been okay for the past little while here. So I might get another video filmed. If not, I'll just be doing a bunch of editing and also I I have a video that's gonna be uploaded. It's my September best and worst of beauty. Again, I'll have it linked up here in a card and I'll also have it linked down below if you missed it or whatever because that'll definitely be going up before this because it's gonna go up in a couple hours here. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. I am going to be cooking dinner with my friend Katie, I do believe, and in any case I'm definitely gonna be going out to have some drinks with her and our friends Carmen and Jacob and then I think I'm coming home later and working more. So you know, it's it's one of those kind of days, but as always, I'm excited to take you guys along with me, see how this does and everything. It is currently 2.03 in the afternoon. If something detrimental happens, I'll be sure to check in with you during the day, but for a concealer review, I just feel like I will see you at the end of the night, and that will be that. So in any case, I'll see you all very soon here on YouTube land. Bye! <laughs> It is the end of the night here. It is currently just about 1.30 in the morning. I am sorry today it didn't end up being, it's not that it wasn't a vlog worthy day, it was actually probably very vlog worthy. I just, you know, was enjoying spending time with my friends. I mean, I basically just had Katie and Jacob and Carmen, three of my very closest friends over for dinner, and I cooked them a feast. I feel like I've talked about this before randomly, but my friends really like my cooking, so people in general really like my cooking and sometimes I forget about that but on nights like this where they are like requesting that I cook for them rather than going out to eat that's like oh it warms my heart I'm just I'm so happy I don't know there's something about cooking for other people that just it's a good feeling especially when they eat everything <laughs> so I made Jacob's favorite meal basically meatloaf and like baked mashed cheesy potatoes and then s'mores bars for dessert so like super not vegan <laughs> so I just made some asparagus and stuff for me and you know that's totally fine so it's just a lot of cooking I mean all of those things take like an hour and a half to bake at least and then there's like the prep and everything and then so many dishes <laughs> you know I did the filming earlier and then grocery shopping and then cooking and then cleaning and then once they left more cleaning you know just wiping down the counters and stuff but I have been sweating in the kitchen you know with the oven going for so long and doing dishes and stuff and this concealer looks fantastic I am so so happy to report that I love this concealer I will definitely be keeping this my forehead still looks flawless like I'm shocked and underneath my eyes there's like hardly any creasing. I just think this looks so good. Even where my glasses were touching my face, the concealer is still there. I am so pleased. I am so impressed. This is a huge win for Tarte 
if it comes in your shade. I think that's the biggest downfall of this, is that there is such a limited shade range, so hopefully Tarte will come out with a bigger one, since so many people do seem to love this concealer, and it's because it deserves the love, for sure. So if you can get your hands on it, I would highly recommend it. This might be my new favorite concealer, so I am super duper happy. I'm always excited when YouTube Made Me Buy It's are actually worth the hype. But biggest thing, I just hope this review was helpful and or enjoyable for you. If it was, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!